everyone. Um, I'm going to quickly do a run through of the rest of our American Revolution video um, segment. So this will be the last segment of the American Revolution. Um, obviously, you know you have a test on Monday, so I wanted to make sure I put the last section up um, as early as possible um, this weekend. So the last video left off at the point where um, we had been talking about what our regular average Americans were doing in Virginia, and I told you that we were headed towards what our um, famous Virginians were doing um, at this time. So the famous Virginians we talked about, we started with Thomas Jefferson, and <clears throat> we talked about the importance of Thomas Jefferson, obviously because he wrote the Declaration of Independence, and also Thomas Jefferson becomes our first governor of Virginia, which is incredibly an incredibly huge role at this time um and so we we have to know that thomas jefferson was the leader of that the writing and wrote the declaration of independence and of course that he was the first governor of virginia um, another famous Virginian we talked about was George Washington. Now, we know that later George Washington becomes the first president of the United States, but that's not where we are yet. Um, in the very first video, I talked to you about George Washington getting his military start in the French and Indian War. And now we're at the point where George Washington is the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, so he is a patriot. He is fighting against Great Britain this time. Um, if if you remember in the French and Indian War, he was fighting for the British, but this time he is the leader of the army against um, the Continental Army against the British. Um, and then we had Patrick Henry. Um, we know that Patrick Henry was a leader um, in talking to colonists about taxation without representation. And of course, we heard his famous speech, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. Um, and we had James Lafayette. So we discussed how James Lafayette was an African-American slave. Um, he decided to join the war efforts. Um, he ended up, he was a patriot, but he ended up becoming a British spy. So he was able to spy on British information and share it back with the patriots. Um, and so after the war, his he was given his independence because of his huge contributions of being able to share that information with the Patriot or Continental Army. Um, and then I'll talk about our last famous person when we get to that point. Um, we know the next thing coming up in our timeline is the Battle of Great Bridge. So the important things we needed to know about the Battle of Great Bridge is it's the first land battle of this Revolutionary War. Um, it happened in near Norfolk, Virginia. Um, of course, we talked about sort of Norfolk, Virginia Beach area is what we talked about in class. Um, and this is a battle where a large number of British troops were killed. Um, and we only had one patriot who had a hand injury during this war, uh, during this battle. And we talked about the significance of Lord Dunmore, who Lord Dunmore was the Virginia governor, but he was British. So he was the British colonial governor of Virginia. So what that meant was he was a governor in Virginia working for King George in England or Great Britain. Now, after the Battle of Great Bridge, this forced Lord Dunmore to flee, which means we talked about in class, which means to leave. So Lord Dunmore leaves and he flees up north and he continues fighting for the Loyalists. Um, however, this is huge in the colony of Virginia because this is the last sign of and last part of British power existing in Virginia. The last person with any British power has left as a result of the Battle of Great Bridge, which is the huge significance of this battle that we talked about. Um, so then the next event we talked about is the Ride of Jack Jouette. 
So Jack Duet is our last famous American we had to know. And Jack Duet, what he did was, this was the time where Thomas Jefferson was the governor, and Thomas Jefferson was having a meeting at his house with several other uh, famous Americans that were part of the General Assembly. And Jack Duet um, had heard that the British were going to try to capture Thomas Jefferson and the members of the General Assembly that were at his house. Um, so Jack Jouette rode horseback through the backwoods, um, all the way to Charlottesville, um, to warn Thomas Jefferson. And they were, as a result, Thomas Jefferson and the other members of the General Assembly were able to get out before the British were able to get to them. So Jack Jouette played a huge role in the safety of Thomas Jefferson and these other, um, important members of our General Assembly at the time. And so then we come to the last, very last thing we talked about, which was the Battle at Yorktown. So, of course, the Battle of Yorktown happened in Yorktown, Virginia. Um, and the Battle of Yorktown was significant for a number of reasons. So we discussed that this ended up being somewhere around 16,000 soldiers fighting for the Patriots versus 6,000 fighting for the British. So we talked about on the Patriot side, we had the Continental Army and we also had French allies. And in class, we discussed that, that allies were or are um, people who are on the, their side of the war and are fighting um they're fighting for them. So we had um, a number of French troops and a number of American troops, um, Patriot troops, fighting together against the British. Um, and we know that um, the York River played a huge role in this battle, um, which we discussed in class, obviously, because in Yorktown, we're right on the York River. Um, and the British being severely outnumbered they they really didn't stand much of a chance in this battle, and this is the time um, where the Revolutionary War comes to an end in Yorktown, Virginia. Um, now, we talked about General Cornwallis surrendering at Yorktown, and we talked about surrendering meaning kind of admitting that you give up and that you're done fighting, um, and that meant that the Americans, the American Patriots or the Continental Army, had officially won their independence from Great Britain. All right, so that is everything that we talked about in the American Revolution. Please make sure you're studying your packet this weekend and let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, I ran through this kind of fast, so I want you to make sure you hit your packet and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, but please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you or give you any studying tips or anything you need. All right, bye.